imperfections. It's actually a Rambi game, although it doesn't exactly look like one, does it? It's really pretty. Uh, I never run it before, but it drew my attention and is falling on lemas of form, so I just thought well, let's give it a try. Because it did look like something different, something more interesting, and I I just thought well, let's let's see what what it's made of. Oh, so pretty. Gwe is pretty, I need. There are clouds, it will probably rain soon. I check my watch again. He should be here by now. I place a hand on a steering wheel, wondering if I should step out or not. No, it's a bad idea. I don't want to alert him. A moment later, I see a car pulling up some yards away. About time. I step out of the car quickly and click the door shut, though the noise probably wouldn't have troubled him. A frazzled looking man stumbles over the car ahead. He obviously had a few drinks before coming here. That should only make my job easier. He sways for a little on his feet, regains his balance and then starts staggering towards the house. Oh, are we the evil person? Like the person that does some bad things? It, it sounds like we are following someone. I close the distance between us with a few light steps and then match my pace to his, keeping a few feet behind. He's completely out of it. He has no idea someone is standing right behind him. I wasn't even being very quiet. Well, you're doing your job great, woman. If you're not even trying to be quiet. I sigh. Let's just, let's just get this over with. I step out and block his path. Well, okay. He stares at me for a moment, confused, eyes trying to focus. Oh, we could be detective and, you know, he could be an every person instead. Relate, re, I can't speak! Re, oh, the sounds. Cool. Cool music. Um, realization. There. Suddenly, seems to down on his face. Oh, the music really kicking in. Yeah! Yeah! Wait, does he... Quick as lighting, he reaches into his jacket and starts to pull out gun. Oh yeah, his. It must be a bad one, I guess. Huh. I move fast, I grab his wrist, give it a sharp twist and then bend his arm behind his back. I whip out my knife to play glittering in the moonlight. Glittering? Okay. I'm sorry, I have no choice. The man suddenly attacks, throwing me on my balance, and twists free of my hold. He makes a grab for a knife, I dodge away and slide his arm. Deeply. Damn it, just die already! Oh man! Harsh words! Harsh words! He cries out in pain and takes a few steps back. Without missing a bit, I charge at him. The knife digs deep into his chest, stopping only at the hill. It almost feels satisfying at this point. I pull it out, splattering blood over my clothes in the process. I even get some on my hand. I feel a terror, a tremor ripple from me as an inexplicable rage takes hold. My mind goes blank. Well, that doesn't sound good. There's blood, I have blood on me. Don't tell me you're scared of bloody woman, please, because that I will not understand. If you're scared of blood, you don't take a job like this, okay? The target falls to his knees, looking stunned. I'm still holding the knife. I take an attack stance, plotting a mental trajectory to his throat. Why? He's already dead! Come on! You. Okay. Okay! Maybe we're not exactly good ones because I don't see a reason to. Cat someone's pro when you like go all the way to his heart. Like it's it's not good it's if you don't put him in hospital in five seconds and I doubt that even then then there's no way he will be like that whatever. I dare for and just when I'm about to swing I stop oh that's good. That's actually a good one. 
Lowering the weapon, I pull back, breathing heavily. The man is gasping for breath. He collapses to the ground and is silent a moment later. He's dead. It's over. It's over. I breathe in deeply, trying to steady my heartbeat. I'm afraid something is a little bit wrong with us. If you have such ideas, like before, it's just a contract. I hear a thunder rumbling in the distance as I look down in my hand. Blood. This is why I hate it. It's the last time. I'm not taking any more jobs like this. Good for you. We're changing. You can be a cute lady in a bakery. It's a job for you. Just need to smile more. Yeah, I don't think I even believe my own promises anymore. Oh my god. Got to wash this off. I love how her name is Ina or Inna. It for my ink for my language it gets a really nice uh addition. Hmm, this is better. Well at least there's no blood now. Are you addicted from of killing or something? So she's not exactly a detective, she's a killer for I guess for uh, higher, that's how he said. Or at least it looks like it. Having finally changed into some clean clothes, I pace back and forth the living room. Normally, I feel calmer and back home, but it feels different this time. I have never liked these kinds of jobs. Even after I clean up, I still can get rid of this this feeling. I have to say though guys that I really dig art because even though it fits the comic art style it still looks very realistic in this I I'm really baffled by it, it's beautiful. It almost looked as a photo for me, it really does. Well, I mean you can see it's drawn but yeah it looks very realistic and it feels hair style so like the style of the character, how it's written, so it's really neat. I say, just what is it with me? I slam in my chair. Sergi! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it, it looks so cool. Normally, a person would be used to all this by now. Well, I don't think I'm used to it. I wouldn't be living like this if I weren't. It's just that, why do I panic? I'm always stricken by this this fear when things get messy. It's almost like I I shake my head and sit upright, you sit up straight. It's no use thinking about such things. Though it may also be because of Sam. Ugh, who is Sam? Sam never liked to see me do such things. He would always try to talk me out of it, or to get the job transferred to someone else. He would even volunteer himself on occasion. Is Sam something special? Ina? Is he? And lately he's been even more persistent, persistent than usual. It's uncharacteristic of him to be so pushy. Sam. I tap my fingers on the laptop. Okay, I really should go see how he's doing. Get enough from my chair, I pause for a second. No. Why not? It's only that seeing him might help me relax. It's not about my conscience. From women, please. You actually should listen to Sal and get a better job, okay? May maybe not better, different one, okay? Because it seems that these jobs really screw you up a lot, and I think Sam knows what he's doing. Throwing in the cold, I grab my car keys and...